Welcome to another video on my step-by-step -step description of how I made my off-grid home solar system. Today I am going to discuss on how I made the battery pack. As I have described before, I am using old discarded Toyota hybrid modules to make a powerful off-grid home solar system. So let's get started. Here I want to make a 24 volt system as my new inverter is 24 volts. So as I described previously, the voltage of each of these batteries has a maximum of 8.4 volts with a usable capacity until 6 volts. So I'm going to take an average of 7 volts. Therefore, to make a 24 volt system, I need to get three of these modules connected in series. The 24 volt inverter has an operating voltage range from 19.5 volts to 28.5 volts. Therefore, when I connect three of these hybrid modules in series, if it gives a maximum voltage of 8.4 volts each, I will get a total voltage of 25.2 volts which is less than my inverter's maximum voltage and a minimum usable voltage of 6 volts each will give me a maximum of 18 volts therefore the inverter will stop working before the batteries are fully drained out this operating voltage is ideal for using these nickel metal hydride batteries I have battery packs of 28 cells and 20 cells. Therefore, to make three groups in series, I will divide them into lots of 16 each. Here, I will connect 16 modules parallelly and join three such sets in series to give me a battery pack of 24 volts, having used 48 battery modules in it. Let me show you how I connected these modules. Keeping the 28 modules and the 20 modules side by side, I will first divide them into three lots of 16 each. Then connect one set's positive terminal to the negative of the second set. In the same way, the positive of the second set will be joined to the negative of the third set. I will now take the negative terminal from the first and the positive terminal from the third to use as the two terminals of my 24 volt battery pack. Here I have arranged the battery modules in 16 sets each. In the big pack where there are 28 cells, I have divided them into 16 and 12 cells and in the small one, 16 plus 4. Next before I connect them, I will clean the battery terminals. As you can see here, I am using a sandpaper.
Next, I will connect the battery modules together. For that, I am using thick copper wire. Thick wire or plates are needed because when I power my house with my inverter, it will pull a large amperage from these battery modules. So, I am using thick wires. The end of these modules has a thread. So I am using washers and nuts to fasten the wire tightly. These tight connections will prevent sparks forming and make sure all the modules are connected well. Here I have joined all the negative terminals of my hybrid battery module. I will do the same for the positive terminals and join them up as I described previously to make my powerful battery pack for my off-grid home solar system. I hope this video was useful for you. If you like my video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more.